Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to be showcasing Langchain's new integration with Zapier Natural Language Actions API. And if you do not know about Zapier, it just helps you perform different workflows uh, with all of your connected applications. If you're interested in using this API, I will drop a link in the description below where you can sign up and they do get back relatively fast. So yeah, don't worry about, uh, you know, being on a wait list. Once you are signed up, you will need to go here and you will see that there is your API key, which will be needed. And you will also need to manage your actions and have these two enabled, um, create draft and find email for Gmail. So connect your Gmail account and then enable these two actions and pretty much just let the AI guess when it asks for certain parameters, just say, let the AI guess and you will be all set for this video. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm, you know, loading my environment variables here. We can see that we're going to need our open AI API key and the Zapier API key. Then we're going to be importing the open AI large language model, uh, from Langchain as well as the agents necessary for this video. Once we do that, you can see that I have instantiated the large language model here. We have Zapier from the Zapier natural language actions wrapper and then we get the toolkit from Xavier toolkit after that we will initialize the agent and it will take the toolkit dot get tools large language model that we have here and the agent we have zero shot react description because we aren't giving it any examples and then i have it set verbose to true so we can see what it is thinking and now i will be targeting this <laughs> this email right here for the video so they're saying okay during the storm we had a few areas covered parking damage blah 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 carpet repair exciting stuff so i'm going to say find me that email and write a draft response about the subject for me so when we run this we can see that it's saying i need to find the email find the last email from redstone ranch it has found the email right here that is the observation it's thought is like i now have to create a draft create a draft response, the subject body, and look at that. So now it says a draft email has been created in response to the last email was received. And if we go back here and we check drafts, boom, right there. So again, I just really wanted to show you guys this because I was very excited about it. I think this has massive implications for the types of apps we can make now. I think, you know, if you're a team and you want to have more internal tooling, and you just need some simple workflows done, I think this could be a good use case for you as well. Yeah, no, if you like the video, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and there's no outro for this, so uh, goodbye.